and I'ma get it. You know I be on the way. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Fight Against Mediocrity podcast. My name is Kevin Karcher. I'm your host. A year ago, I left my corporate nine to five, started the Fight Against Mediocrity to help people create their own economy. So today, I am actually going to reveal to you guys a secret I've been holding in for about a week and a half. And I apologize if any of you are angry at me. And also, it may seem like a week and a half is not very long to keep a secret, but if you ask my wife, that's an incredibly long amount of time because I'm the type of person when I find something out, I just want to share it. I mean, if someone says, hey, Kevin, don't share this, I don't share it, but like something like this, I want to share it with everybody. So um, hopefully you're not mad at me. Hopefully it helps you. Hopefully this can be something impactful for you, but I guess I apologize for for keeping it a secret so long. And so let me just tell a little bit of the backstory and why I had kept it a secret. So um, about, uh, it's probably been like four or five months ago, I hired um, a marketer to come in and help us uh, with some of our backend um, stuff. And if, if you're starting a business right now, just a side note, like everything takes longer than you think. And that's why it's important to have Genesis deadlines and push hard to meet you know, unrealistic deadlines because it pushes you. But at the end of the day, when you want to build something great, um, it always takes longer than you think it's going to. So um, be patient, but grind hard or um, pursue it with passion better than grind. Um, Anyway, so anyway, so I hired this marketing team group to come in and give them some direction and said, Hey, I want you to build this please build it. We want it tomorrow. Not, not really tomorrow, but like, Hey, we want it in a month. That was four or five months ago. And it was taking forever and forever and forever. So about three weeks ago, I was like, okay, I got to lay down the hammer. We need this. Like now this is something people need. I can't keep it a secret any longer. We need it now. So I'd get texts from the team at like midnight, like, Hey man, what about this? Hey man, what about this? Um, Kevin, what do you want to do here? And so they cranked it out and it got done a week and a half ago. And the reason I haven't shared it yet is because, um, I wanted to do something really cool to announce it really extravagant, exciting, which I really should do. But what ended up happening, and I'm sure this has all happened to you is it was important, but not urgent. So it kept getting put on the back burner on the back burner, on the back burner, on the back burner. It's like, man, I really got to do this. But, you know, other stuff kept getting in the way. So I never ended up doing it. And what happened was I was sitting here working at my desk. You can't really see it. And if you're listening, obviously you can't see it. But um, there's a door right here that goes into the hallway outside of my office at home. And I, had, I laid out a blanket and let my son Stanford play around. And he just started crawling a couple of weeks ago. And he's still not very good. He does a little army crawl and then he falls on his stomach and then army crawls a couple of uh, feet and then, and then does that again. And it was really cool because he was started in the army called about seven feet. And there was a box on the ground in my office and he found it and he like kind of propped himself up a little bit and pulled it down. I was like looking into it. I'm like, Hey bud, you probably shouldn't be in that. Um, put it up on the couch and put him back over. And I was like, wait a second, that's actually a cool idea. And so I set my book on the ground. Um, if you're watching the video, you can see I set my book on the ground and uh, was like, I wonder if he'll crawl to it. And so um, I'll show you if you're if you're listening to this, obviously you won't see this, but um, I'll show you a picture here. And so anyways, that's him reaching for it. He's got his little hand. It's so cute. Anyways, I took a, like seven pictures. I'm like, OK, that was so cute. So cool. Should I tell everyone about what I'm doing? And I was like, "Ah, I don't know. It needs to be, you know, everyone says you got to do something extravagant. And I was like, okay, look, the title on the book is freaking talk is cheap. I got to just do this. And so I took a bunch of pictures, started posting on Instagram, uh, made this really long um, sequence. It's really cool. Uh, I mean, I think it got uh, a lot of people really engaged. And I basically said, hey, I'll just read them to you. Um, because by the time you hear this, they will not be on my store anymore. So I said, so I've been hiding something from everyone and I think I'm finally ready to open up about it. Some of you may be angry. I've honestly been really selfish and feel sick about it. I hope you'll find it in you to forgive me. 
I just can't in good conscience keep living this way. Okay, here goes. Well, let me just say this wasn't all me. My son Ford did have the idea initially that led to all this, my accomplice, if you will. We are giving away my book for free while supplies last, aka until all the books in my garage are gone. Um, and then I did a bunch of like, grab your copy, click here, posted a bunch of testimonials, um, some really cool testimonials, and then did a live. And uh, so in that live, I'm telling all these stories and I'm like, okay, hey, if I'm being honest with you guys, you guys are my podcast listeners. You guys are my favorite because you come here every morning or every Monday. So well, as I'm on that live, I'm like, I got to set a goal for everybody. I got to give someone, I got to give everyone something to aspire to. And so I said, Hey guys, we got to make an impact with this book. This book's changed people's lives. For example, my buddy, Travis, who's in the fight against mediocrity program. I think if I remember correctly, he said, I hadn't read a book in a decade, a decade. It's 10 years for those of you who don't know what a decade is a decade. And he said, when I got the fight against mediocrity, talk is cheap to fight against mediocrity. I read it. And then I read it again a second time. And then I read it again a third time. And I actually have his copy right here because, and I'll show you it. Boom, Travis. And uh, the reason he gave it to me is because he's like, hey, dude, um, I found a couple of typos and uh, I marked them for you so you can fix them. He's like, the book is great, but I just want to let you know. And what's funny is um, every book has typos, so I didn't take it personally or anything, but I would say 85% of books have typos. Um, I once heard Grant Cardone say that people were giving him a hard time for his first book having typos. And he's like, typos, you haven't even written a book. What are you on me about typos? And he, it's just funny anyways. So when I was writing, I kept thinking like, ah, should I release it or should I read it one more time to make sure there are no errors? And I just was like, ah, they're going to be errors. Let's just do it. So anyways, um, I'm sharing this with them. I'm sharing the story of how it's impacted. I'm like, okay guys on this Instagram live. I'm, okay guys. Uh, uh, and this thought comes to me. I'm like, challenge them to sell a thousand books and not sell because I'm giving them away for free, but Challenge them to um, order, get, allow me to give away a thousand books. So I'm like, okay, guys, we are going to, we're going to give away a thousand books, but we need your help. We need you to share it. And then I'm like, Kevin, a thousand isn't going to inspire anybody. Like, yeah, that's kind of like lame. I'm like, okay, guys, actually a thousand isn't that cool. I'm like, oh, what should I do? Like 2000, 3000? I'm like 10 X. So I'm like, okay, hey guys, we are going to give away a 10,000 books, 10,000 books. If not now, when, if not us, who? And that's my invitation to you. This book can change people's lives. And the reason I say that is because I don't believe this is just some book that someone wrote. I believe this is inspiration revelation given to me. Sounds corny, sounds cheesy, but let me tell you why. Every morning, so for about six months in 2020, uh, yeah, 2020, early 2020, for about six months, I'd wake up every morning early, 4, 4, 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m., and I'd go to the gym. And when you're in the gym, you know, you're pumping weights, you're doing all that stuff. I'd listen to motivational videos, Audible, podcasts, um, all that stuff. And every morning, it'd be like, boom, Kevin, that's chapter one. Boom, Kevin, that's chapter two chapter three. Oh, and you need to put this and you need to put this. Hey, and you also need to put this, this, and this, and this is chapter four and this is chapter five. Oh, and then you do this actually change these two chapters. And it was just like, it was effortless, not to say it didn't take a lot of work, but it was effortless. It just came to me. And so talk is cheap to fight against mediocrity is truly, um, a revelation given to me to change the world. And that's why, um, by the end of the year, the challenge is that I give away 10,000 books, but I can't do that alone. I need your help. And so down below in the description, you'll find a link to the book. If you go to my Instagram, you can also find it there, but please share this. If you want to impact people, please share it. I know we can impact 10,000 lives. And if not now, when, and if not us, who, and you could be the catalyst for someone absolutely changing their lives and becoming a different version of themselves. There are people who haven't read a book for 10 years, a decade, who when they get this book in their hand, they'll read it not once, not twice, but three times. But they need you to share it with them. 
So I invite you to share this. Please share it in your emails, your Instagram, wherever you can with your church, whatever you can do with your cousins. If you're married, if you live in some small towns in Utah, you might be married to your cousins. So send it to them too, but please share this. I know it can impact thousands and if not millions, and I need your help. Thank you so much for being, um, allowing me to be your trusted advisor and serve you. It's honestly something I love waking up to every day. So thank you so much. Catch you on the next side and let's do it. 10,000 baby. Man, on a mission, I'm a kid, you know I be on a way.